Hey guys, so I want to do a quick little comparison here between these beasts in the Android space. We do have the Mate 10 Pro and uh, the Note 8 here, Exynos version. Uh, so cutting edge hardware on both of them. Uh, you do get some pros and cons obviously with the handsets, but I wanted to see how the speed and camera did compare here uh, to see if Huawei's latest phone does stack up with the arguably most beastly Samsung phone ever produced. Uh, right from the offset, you know, there are some advantages here with the Mate 10 Pro that you need to take in mind. Uh, you're getting it for at least €200 Euro cheaper, where I am. You can even get cash back now, uh, which makes it even cheaper. Uh, you're also getting a massive battery, 4000 mAh, which I think is much bigger than the Notes. Uh, the Note does strike back though with a slightly better screen I have noticed in terms of the uh, colour accuracy and viewing angles. Uh, the screen on the Mate 10 Pro is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but I think Samsung does save the best AMOLED for itself. Uh, you're also getting your Notes uh, integration, which would be nice to see something like that on the Mate series maybe. Uh, so other than those things, let's have a look at the performance day to day. Just going to open up some apps. Uh, everything is closed down as you can see. This is a Kirin 970 versus Exynos 8895. So very high end, but you know, maybe we're reaching a point where you can't see too much difference. I did see the mate there, a little bit snappier on those ones but very identical you know you'd need a slow motion camera to see any difference there so camera mate is very good as you can see to get into the camera and uh, the watch area clock area so have a look at the uh, games here I definitely think Samsung needs to, ooh, that was, I think, Samsung then. Uh, I think Samsung needs to make the Note series more of a power user's phone again. Because to me, it's very similar to the S series nowadays. Uh, but very good load here on the right for the game. I'm going to give that to Samsung. And this one. Again, Samsung coming with nice speeds for the the game. So you can see Mate 10 Pro does struggle a little bit here when it comes to the game load speed. Uh, a little bit uh, sluggish if you ask me. But then again, we did see on the benchmark the Exynos is unbeatable uh, in Android land still. Uh, last one. So that was a little bit closer, I think. Um, or was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, A, you see. Uh, it did uh, dominate, i got to admit. Let's just try the uh, Play Store. See, it's strange because these smaller apps seem to go on the Mate 10 Pro a little bit faster. Uh, so I'm going to give the basic apps to the Mate 10 Pro, but the games to the Note. So draw game there. Uh, we're going to have a look at the Wi-Fi as well. I have managed to get the Wi-Fi to a local server with some handy advice. Uh, to turn on the GPS, let me just double check that it is. Ah, uh, 
so once again hang on let me just turn it on For some reason the uh, GPS seems to turn itself off so let's just turn it back on again hopefully we can uh, there we go as you can see and uh, we're just going to fire this off just check this one yeah this one's on the correct one as well So quite similar to last time here, not even much better really, uh, decent but not the best I've seen. And the Note 8 is not taking any prisoners today, you see I knew it could do better, it's having its good day. Uh, we will give the Mate 10 Pro a chance to recover here. Oh, it's gone for it. Wow. I wasn't expecting that actually. That is fantastic. So you can see once it gets into its groove, it's not messing around. Should we give the Note 8 another chance? Let's go for it. Oh, it's going to go for it. It's going to go for it. No, can't quite meet it. So Mate 10 Pro is a winner when it comes to your Wi-Fi. Very hotly contested, I've got to say. Had me on the edge of my seat. So let's uh, just check the multitasking, then move on to the camera performance. Uh, so we can just going to go back to the first uh, one here. Don't expect there to be too much difference because they both have six gigs of RAM, and you can see very nice and smooth so far uh, on both of them. No reloads, no lags. Just what we want from a high-end phone. So we'll do two more basic ones and then move on to the games uh, because I don't think there's any difference really here. This one, yeah. About the camera as well, forgot about that. Let's see how fast we go back into that. Go! Very nice and snappy. Uh, let's just go to some games here. We did open up a few. Uh, so this one. straight back in there, uh, mate was a little bit faster which is ironic because the Note 8 actually won when it came to the games WWE, do do -E, something like that, there we go, this one again no difference, excellent memory uh, performance here obviously the Note is running Nugget so maybe you'll get even better when Samsung finally uh, updates it. We are on Oreo with the the uh, Mate phone but so far you know I can't see any difference here. Very good on both of them. One more. Uh, so what was it again? This one Excellent performance, got to say, uh, not a difference at all. Uh, in terms of the camera, that is another interesting aspect because obviously we're getting uh, leaker technology here on uh, the Mate 10 Pro, which uh, Huawei does make quite a big deal of. So we're going to just uh, get up some camera images here. Uh, let me just uh, get them ready here, see what we do have. So first we can start off looking at the uh, low light uh, performance here which is obviously uh, quite a big deal on Samsung phones usually it's very good uh, and I gotta say you know same thing here with the Note 8 
uh, absolutely fantastic low light performance is it any better than the um, Mate 10 Pro you know it's hard to say really you probably have to get a professional in to see the difference really I personally didn't see too much of a difference between the two uh, you know looking at the low light performance which is fantastic given the price difference uh, on the Mate 10 Pro you do get a lot of different modes you can even do to make it even better there's a dedicated night mode which in my opinion would be good but it takes so long to actually use that it's not very uh, good to use really I'd rather just use the main auto shooter uh, in terms of good light you know it's not uh, too different again very comparable you know good uh, close-ups etc and uh, nicely defined I'd say the only real difference I saw when doing the uh, the shooting was sometimes the focus was a little bit slower on the Mate 10 Pro uh, that's one area where Samsung is very reliable because of its technology uh, I think they both use pretty much the same technology nowadays like I think it's phase detection autofocus or, or dual pixel autofocus one of the two uh, but I did notice now and again the Mate 10 Pro did uh, miss the shot in lower light uh, it was very rare you know it's not something which happens very regularly but it's something to be aware of here uh, like for example the one in the cinema you can see slightly out of focus on the uh, the uh, Mate 10 Pro I think the video recording is very good on the Mate 10 Pro, probably not quite on the level as the iPhone and Note 8 though in terms of stability and particularly the zoom uh, I did find a little bit uh, jerky compared to Samsung here, uh, in fact I did uh, a separate video just showing that so you can see the difference here. I mean overall it's uh, very good, don't get me wrong, it's just uh, if you're looking at it from a flagship perspective you can definitely see how smooth the Note 8 is when you're zooming in so that's something to consider uh, if you do a lot of zooming uh, but overall you know I'd definitely rate the uh, 10 uh, as a flagship level camera here uh, there's going to be obviously some software updates to improve the experience even more so do uh, bear that in mind uh, other things to consider here obviously uh, Mate 10 Pro coming with massive battery uh, I have found the battery life on the Note 8 to be very kind of disappointing uh, you've got a massive screen phone they can't even put a 4000 battery in there it's a little bit uh, lame to me uh, you're also obviously getting your S Pen on the Note 8 uh, which uh, you know something to consider here would be nice if as I said uh, Huawei implemented something similar just uh, you know something uh, to doodle with now and again but I think uh, Samsung's pretty much narrowed it down when it comes to that particular market uh, also I think you're getting face unlock obviously on the Note 8 I'm not sure if you get that on the Mate 10 Pro you could do uh, which is a nice feature uh, but I don't like the way they put the fingerprint scanner near the sensor here uh, it's much better placed on the <laughs> Huawei uh, in terms of the fingerprint scanner so not sure what the thinking was there also uh, some people don't like the curved display here on uh, you know Samsung phones and uh, Huawei's made it so that it's right to the border but you've not got a uh, curve to worry about very expensive to fix uh, you know if it breaks so something else there to consider uh, but very uh, worthy handset here from Huawei you know very competitive against the, the established giants here looking forward to see what they come out with with the uh, P11 which is on the horizon uh, so yeah, just a quick comparison here between the Mate 10 Pro and uh, the Note 8. 
uh, definitely recommend it here if you're looking for something a bit more affordable and i'll see you in the next one cheers